This video is all about adding comfort to your outdoor entertaining space. We're talking heat, shade, and of course, bug control. Now it's still too cold in Minnesota to use an actual patio, so we built a set. Check it out. Picture this, you're outside, enjoying time with your family and friends, relaxing in your beautifully arranged outdoor space. The sun sets, and you notice people are getting kind of cold, putting on their sweaters, maybe shivering a bit. And before you know it, everyone is getting ready to leave. Bummer. But with the right heating for your space, next time, maybe the party can continue a little longer. Some of the most popular heating devices for outdoor entertaining include patio heaters, gas fire pits, wood fire pits, and gas fire tables. Each is a little different with its own strengths. Let's dive into the details so you can choose the one that's right for you. If you like the idea of gathering around a classic campfire, a wood-burning fire pit may be the way to go. The Solo Stove Ranger is a low-smoke fire pit. Due to its unique airflow design, you can get all the campfire goodness with less smoke in the air so it doesn't linger in your hair and clothes. The included stand allows you to set it on sensitive surfaces like a wooden deck or grass without having to worry about damaging them. And to help with the cleanup, there's an ash pan that sits under the base plate to catch the ash that falls. If you're looking for a convenient and odorless option, gas fire tables or patio heaters are a great choice. Simply connect a propane tank and turn it on. They have a dial so you can adjust the heat to be just right. And since they're burning gas, there's no smoke or odor to deal with either. Yardbird offers several fire pit tables like this one that is built with rust-proof aluminum to help withstand the outdoor elements. Simply connect to propane tank and you can adjust the amount of heat up to 55,000 BTUs. Fire tables pair well with comfortable seating and can double as a place to set your snacks and drinks. And when you don't need a fire, you can use the lid to cover the burner for even more table space. Another option to keep you warm is a patio heater, like this Cuisinart propane patio heater. It kicks out 47,000 BTUs of heat and it has wheels so it can be easily moved. That way you can move it into place when it's needed and out of the way when it's not. They're great for warmth when dining outdoors as they can be placed close to the table right next to your friend that's always cold. The shield on top reflects the heat downwards, so sitting nearby feels extra toasty. Now you've been hearing me mention BTUs. How do you know how many you need? Let's dig into that. BTU stands for British Thermal Unit, and it's a way to measure the amount of heat being generated. The important thing to know is that the higher the number, the more heat the item can output. So how many BTUs should a heater have? That really depends on the size of the area. A good guide is at least 20 BTUs for every square foot of space you're trying to heat. The size of your space will influence the heat source that's right for you. For smaller spaces, one gas fire table might be enough, while larger spaces may require multiple patio heaters. Keep in mind, there's a limit to how much space a single unit can cover. As you know, heat rises. And in an open outdoor setting, the sky is the limit. The heat will continually dissipate. Many heaters include a heating radius or square footage in the specs to help. Think about placement too. Should you put it right in the middle? Or maybe you need more than one to place them on the edges of your entertaining area. And of course, the closer you are to the heat source, the warmer it'll feel. Lastly, keep safety in mind. Always make sure to read the manufacturer's instructions carefully and avoid placing heating devices near flammable materials or in areas where they can easily be knocked over. Safety first. Next up, let's talk about shade. Another way to keep your guests comfortable is to provide cover from the sun's UV rays. One easy way to do that is with a patio umbrella, protection from the sun, and a pop of color. To anchor your umbrella, make sure you use a sturdy umbrella stand. Many outdoor dining tables include a center hole for a patio umbrella as well. Patio umbrellas are great because they're semi-portable. I say semi because the stand is a little heavy, but they are movable, so you can get them just in the right position to block the sun. And as the sun moves, you can tilt and rotate the umbrella to make sure you're covered. This Sunray umbrella has built-in solar-powered LEDs. So as the sun sets and it gets darker, you can keep the party going. If you have the option to go big, another way to add shade is to install a permanent structure like a pergola. 
Pergolas can make an outdoor space feel more like a room. You can customize it with lighting, curtains, and even a ceiling fan. Either way you go, a source of shade is priceless on a hot, sunny day. Lastly, let's talk about bug control. And I use the word control lightly. Insects are a natural part of the outdoors, and let's face it, they're gonna be at your party even though they weren't invited. So let's talk about some ways to minimize their presence. Here are two types of bug control devices to consider. Bug repellents and bug traps. Bug repellents use chemicals to repel certain bugs and keep them away. The Thermocell Rechargeable Mosquito Repellent uses a lithium-ion battery to heat an unscented liquid cartridge. Once it's heated, the repellent activates and disperses, providing a 20-foot zone that repels mosquitoes. So you can skip the sprays or lotions. Well, hopefully. Let me give you a couple tips. First, after turning it on, wait 15 minutes to allow the repellent to do its thing. Second, put it right in the center of where you'll be sitting. On a windy day, put it upwind so the repellent is carried toward you. And as I said, this repellent is designed specifically for mosquitoes, one of my least favorite party guests. Another device to consider, bug traps, like this one from Dynatrap. Attracts flying pests with UV light and carbon dioxide that mimics human breath. When bugs fly in, a fan traps the bugs in a compartment. Traps should be set up 20 to 40 feet away from your outdoor space as they attract bugs. You can set it on a flat surface or hang it from a hook, and you'll need access to power to plug it in. Consider pairing these items together, using the repellent to push mosquitoes away from you and the trap to draw them in. Another handy tool in bug control is a simple fan. If you plan to have a buffet of food out, placing a fan to create a breeze can help prevent flies from landing on your treats. And lastly, do your part to keep your space nice and clean and free of standing water to discourage pests from making it their home in the first place. So there you have it, folks. Some helpful tips for creating the perfect outdoor entertaining space. By focusing on heating, shade, and bug control, you can create a comfortable and enjoyable space for you and your guests to relax and have fun. Remember to choose the right heating device based on your climate, the size of your space, and your fuel type preferences. Consider a patio umbrella or a permanent structure like a pergola to create shade. And don't forget about bug control. Use bug repellents or bug traps to keep the bugs at bay. Thanks for watching and check out our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy.